friends, it's Brittany again from Forby Farm. Um, I wanted to make a video today planting okra. So, um, I use this Clyde's Garden Planner. Um, I kind of use that as a guideline when to um, plant and when to sow them inside and all that. It has so much information. I really uh, recommend this, especially to um, first time gardeners. It's so helpful. Um, and so I just pulled this out and now this does tell me because I'm in 7B and our last frost date was um, the end of April. So I'm a little late uh, according to, to this guide, but um, okra grows really fast and um, we end up getting pretty tired of it by the end of the summer and it just keeps reducing, keeps reducing. So I waited a little longer um, this season to plant them. Um, I grew these last year, and so, um, if you can hear that, <laughs> it has all the seeds inside. Um, I grew this, I left it growing on the stalk last year and let it dry out. So, this is exactly what it looks like when I pulled it off. So, we are going to be planting the okra today. I'll open it up and show you what it looks like inside. Um, but I did not buy any okra seeds, so hopefully these do really well and uh, we get lots of okra this year. Um, we do, we, I mean, we eat and cook a lot of okra. We boil it, we fry it, um, but I think one of my favorites is pickling okra. I love pickled okra, especially in the winter time when I can't find it anywhere. Um, get some fresh pickled okra. But I'm just gonna pop this open. I'm just gonna kind of squeeze it and kind of help. If you can see all those little bitty seeds in there, feel focus. All those seeds. I ate one of those before. You have eaten okra. Um, so my kids, Mason and Kelly, are gonna help plant these. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> that's I'm Kelly. Hi. And that's, and that's Mason. Baba. Okay, so once I get all the seeds out, we will be planting them about a half an inch into the soil and then about 12 to 18 inches apart. So last year I did not, um, it was barely 12 inches if it was 12 inches and um, they did fine. So I'm, I might plant them a little closer than 12 inches um, because they, they did okay for me last year, but the, the re recommendation is 12 to 18 inches apart. Okay, so I went inside and got a cup to fill up. Um, you can see all of those. All of those seeds are from one pod of okra. Um, I, I did save several pods because I didn't know how they would do. Um, but they did just dry up on the stalk, uh, and I just harvested them out there, really completely dried out. It, it did take a long time, um, but I think with so many seeds from just one pot is amazing, and it definitely, um, could help you save in the future for, instead of buying your own okra, just to leave a pod on the stem, even after, even if it's out of season, um, if it's getting too cold, they should dry up, and um, we did ours um in this the spring garden like this year and then in the fall it just dried up really easily because it was so hot here in 7b um but like i said we're just going to plant these about um a half an inch into the the soil the soil is already wet um and about 12 to 18 inches apart is what is recommended but i normally do mine a little closer and uh, i'll let my kids plant them real fast so we planted our okra right in the sun um, where it gets sun all day, uh, so it's not partly um, shaded. And okra really thrives in the, the heat, the really um, long summer days. Um, it does like to be well watered, so you, uh, I normally water mine every day. It takes about 50 to 60 days to mature to um, start harvesting um, pods. I normally um, like to pick them probably a few inches a big because they're just a lot more tender. Um, I pickle them a lot. Um, we do stir fries, we boil them, we fry um, fried okra. <laughs> Who doesn't love fried okra? Um, but we go through a lot of okra. So we just planted um, all of our okra seeds that we got from our last harvest um, last spring. Um, I just dried them out on the stalk and we have seeds. So that's what we did. And my kids planted them and I honestly cannot wait to get some fresh okra so we can start pickling them and maybe I'll do a video of pickling okra um, 
my kids really enjoy eating that also. Here's a fairly easy um, plant to grow. It only needs a lot, it needs lots of watering, um, but it loves the heat, so you don't have to worry about um, it getting too much sun or anything. Um, it's really just that simple, just plant it about half an inch, an inch deep into uh, the wet soil. Um, about 50 or 60 days, uh, it should be getting ready to be mature so you can pick those pods, depending on how big you, you want to pick them. Um, and that's it. It's uh, one of my favorite things to grow in the garden. Um, I grew up on okra. I love eating okra. My family uh, loves it. And um, it's just a really good staple to have in your garden.